Hey Mustangs, welcome to your Monday edition of the Daily Update. I'm Jenny Rudolph. Let's get to the news. SMU police issue an alert for students after a crime is committed on campus over the weekend. That story tops today's Mustang Minute. An SMU student reports being assaulted on campus late Saturday night. Police say a man allegedly tried to choke an SMU student in the area of Ford Stadium at the Gate 3 entrance around 9 o'clock Saturday night. The suspect is described as a college-age white male about 5 foot 4 inches tall with an athletic build and short dark hair. The suspect was wearing a black hoodie and police say he smelled of alcohol at the time of the alleged assault. The student was able to get away, but the suspect is still on the loose. SMU police are asking anyone who has information to come forward. Two people are dead and 10 others are injured after a shooting at a Cedar Rapids nightclub in Iowa. The shooting happened just before 1.30 Sunday morning while the club was hosting a 90s theme party. Cedar Rapids officers were able to respond immediately to the shooting and secured the scene, but the suspects are still on the loose. Still no word on what caused the shooting. A 26-year-old Texas woman is charged with murder for the death of an individual by self-induced abortion. Lizelle Herrera remains in jail on a $500,000 bond in Star County Jail in Rio Grande City in South Texas. We still don't know if Herrera is accused of helping someone else get an abortion or if she had the procedure herself. Excitement at Dallas Love Field, but it had nothing to do with a plane. A drunk driver crashed into a Love Field airport gate early Saturday morning. 21-year-old Jaime Salazar struck two private jets and a fuel truck after hitting the gate. Police say the plane sustained minor damage. Salazar was taken first to the hospital due to his level of intoxication, and then he was arrested on a DWI charge, along with other charges that are pending. And that's your Mustang Minute. Recognize these polls? These are just a few of over 60 emergency blue light cell phone poles on SMU's campus. Uh, if a student uh, pushes the button on the, the to call button on the blue light phone, it immediately goes to our dispatch center. Dispatch immediately it alerts them to what blue light phone was was the button was pushed at. So they send officers to that phone, even if nothing's said, just the button pu is pushed. They'll go to that location. The poles are strategically placed so that a blue light can be seen from every point on campus. I think our the SMU campus police department does a really good job of always making sure we're really safe, but just in case they would ever need a little backup, we have the emergency poles. If one person is helped by them, then um, they've done their job. For more information, call the SMU police department at the number on your screen. Hold on to your hats, Mustangs. It's been windy and that will continue with a mix of some storms as well. On Monday, clouds will hover overhead and rain will slowly make its way toward the hilltop. This could be the fifth Monday in a row that we could see storms. However, there's only a slight chance of showers. Highs will be in the low 90s with lows around 70. Tuesday could get interesting. We could see some storms coming through. There is a 50% chance that we'll see rain on the hilltop. With that, we could see some damaging winds with a slight chance of hail and tornadoes. Highs will be in the mid 80s with lows again in the 70s. Wednesday, a cold front moves through with some storms. Then the clouds will move out and we'll see a high in the mid 80s with lows in the upper 40s. Thursday will be partly cloudy with highs in the upper 70s and lows in the mid 50s. By Friday, which is Good Friday and the beginning of Passover, we'll see partly cloudy skies with highs in the low 80s and lows in the mid 60s. So keep your eyes on the skies, at least on Tuesday, Mustangs, but the rest of the week looks great. That's your five day forecast. I'm Jenny Rudolph.
The SPCA of Texas has served the North Texas community since 1938. We offer a wide variety of programs and services designed to help people and pets in our community. We're an open adoption agency and what that means is you can come in, take a look around and take home your perfect pet today. Also, we don't euthanize for time or space, so every animal who comes through our doors spends as much time as they need to find their forever home. Some of the most rewarding parts of this job is to be able to watch people um, bond with their new, new family members. For more information, visit www.spca.org. You never know how serious a comment can impact society. All because of a comment made by former First Lady, we now have panda bears at zoos in America. Fifty years ago this week, former First Lady Pat Nixon, visiting China with her husband Richard Nixon, commented to the Chinese premier on how cute the panda bears were. An image of the panda bears were the side of some cigarettes given to the First Lady. That prompted the premier to ship two giant pandas to the U.S. Sing Sing and Ling Ling arrived in Washington, D.C. back in April of 1972 and were a major attraction to thousands of visitors at the National Zoo the first week alone. That led to pandemonium. The giant panda exhibit is a must-see at the National Zoo. Their current residents are all very popular with zoo visitors, all because of a simple compliment from a former first lady. And we are so thankful for that. Before we leave you, we want to recognize Highland Park resident Scotty Scheffler for winning the Masters over the weekend. He shot a 10 under par to get the green jacket. Well, that's all we have for you today, Mustangs. Remember, you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash SMU television and follow us on Twitter at SMU TV. If you have any story ideas, shoot us an email, smutv at smu.edu. Thanks for watching this Monday edition of the Daily Update. Tune in Tuesday for more news from the Hilltop. Until then, have a great day and pony up. SMU TV and the Division of Journalism want to thank our underwriters, North Park Center in Dallas, Javier's Gourmet Mexicano on Cole Avenue, and Advance ER off West Lovers Lane. We appreciate your support of student media.